Hi folks and welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. What you see in the vise is one for the competition boys. It's a gold butt cat booby. So without further ado, let's get into it. In the vise then is a Hanak H250 barbless hook. This one's at size 10, it's on a heavy wire and it's a bronze hook. The thread I'm going to be using today is a uni thread. It's at 6 aught and it's white. Now I've already pre-waxed my thread and reeled it back onto the bobbin. Want a little bit of wax on this, not overly much. And I'm going to catch that in just back from the eye and then run a bed of thread all the way down to approximately where a barb would be on a hook. Then I can come with my scissors and remove my waist. Now for the, the marabou section of this, I'm using some comp candy. This is the Lunar UV White. It's a lovely, um, vibrant white. And, and the feathers are superb out of these packs. So I've got one here I've been working with. And what I want to do for the tail is take from my knuckle to the end of my thumbnail and that gives me my tail. Now once I've ripped it from the stem I want to try and get as close to the tips as I can. These, these bits of the feather just give a lot more movement and I'm going to capture that in the entire length of the body. I'll just lash it on, uh, you don't need to be particularly careful and then when you do need to take care is just the butt section here and I'm going to come all the way back. Now this tail is obviously far too long for a competition fly so I'm going to come in with my thumb and forefinger just grip the ends and take away a little bit which is absolutely fine. Next I'm going to come in with some gold spackle chenille. This is the stuff that's used on the shuggy or the humongous if you like and uh, I use it on the butts of these flies. So I'm just going to remove some of the fritz from the end and catch that in with a few tons. And because I've waxed my thread um, that'll be in there solid which is ideal. Now I'm looking for three tons of the fritz. It is quite small. which will give me my gold butt. Then I can come over and lock that into place. Now the reason I'm uh, doing this pattern today is I uh, I posted a, a little link to the Candy Floss booby, which is my all time favourite uh, still water fishing fly really. It's my the one I go to when I'm in trouble during a match. I'll always stick it on in the day pull that for the last hour or so if uh, that's the difference between blanking and getting one or two fish but many people said that the cat's whisker was their go-to booby pattern so uh, I thought I would give this one a go which I do like but again it's not a patch on the candy floss now while I've been wittering on I forgot to mention that I'm tying in the chenille now it's not just a plain green chenille, it's got some sparkle in it and this is from Sempify. They do uh, some lovely products and I, I particularly like this. I bought the range actually, they've got black and red and they've got this little bit of sparkle through it which I think adds just something else to the pattern. So I'm going to get my first turn in which is always the hardest. Just bring my thread back up to towards the front a bit. And I'm looking for three or four turns to create my body. On the fourth turn, I'm going to catch that in. Like so. And then I can remove my excess for the next fly. Now at this point, we'll have a little tidy up. Just to um, get that chenille tidy, pull it all backwards and that's looking not too bad. So what I want to do is add my wing and again 
I'm coming in with some of the uh, Lunar UV Marabou and again I'm taking the same thumbnail to thumb knuckle to create my wing and again I want it to be near as the tips I can get it so I'm going to just twist that up and then over my tying basket waste basket sorry I can just remove that then I can come in capture that and again because I've uh, pre-waxed the thread and rolled it back onto my bobbin that keeps it all nice and neat now what I'm doing is building a bed of thread now uh, as well as securing the wing what this does is gives a platform for your booby eyes to sit on and then I can simply come in with my fingers and trim that up. I always find it's best to damp down the marabou, the floss, and it just keeps everything out your way before you do the booby eye stage. Now I've already got one of my little tic tacs here and if you're not sure how, how I got to this stage I'll stick a little link, link up in the video, sorry in the information bar up there which will show you how I get my booby eyes. Now unfortunately the video is a little old and it can do with renewing but um, it will work for you at the moment. So I'm just going to capture that in just off camera actually I think and then I can wrap my thread up and eventually my booby eyes will roll to the top of the fly and what I want to do one two three four and depending on the size of the booby eyes will depend on how many turns but something this size I'm looking at four turns each way and then a couple of turns in front I can simply then come in with my whip finish tool And finish the fly. Now, if you want this to last any amount of time, it's always best to come in with some super glue. Part your booby eyes and just make sure you get plenty of super glue in between them eyes. And what that will do is it'll soak down through the fly into the thread and it'll make it pretty rock solid. I like to just turn mine and add a bit of super glue to the bottom and there you have your gold butt cat's whisker. Super effective fly, works really well on the washing line uh, as well as an attractor it will bring uh, fish in to take your more subtle pheasant tails and dial backs and the like. Thanks very much for watching, if you're getting value from the videos please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.